Hey y'all, it's Pookie. Thanks for joining my channel. Today, I'm gonna eat some fried chicken and french fries. I'm eating from Popeyes. And I got me four drumsticks. I put it on a plate so you could see it better. This is supposed to be spicy, but once again, it's not looking too spicy to me. Someone said on another video, it's supposed to look orange. I ain't seen it. Right. So, on Tuesdays, Tuesdays they have a special. A wing, or whatever, a thigh and a drumstick for $1.19 or something. They give me two orders, boom, save some money. Didn't know that. So, um... And, well, okay, so I got fried chicken. Ugh. And my happy glass. I don't know why, but this one makes me smile. And I have water in it. And then I just added this stuff right here. It's a crystal light. You add it to water. It's blackberry lemonade. And it's so good. There's one that's like a strawberry lemon. Strawberry lemonade. That one, I swear to God, tastes like a um, one of those strawberry uh, Starbursts. Good stuff. All right, so here's what I'm about to go down and eat. Mm hmm. Lord have mercy. They say it's um, a thigh and a drumstick. But I love drumsticks. So I told them I wanted all drumsticks. Once again, ketchup from the house pookie. For my French fries. So you heard me earlier say it was Tuesday. Um, I took vacation day yesterday because I went with um, Sugar Plum Yum Yum to the Dallas Cowboys game on Sunday night. And we stayed the night and we came back home yesterday. These are like seasoned fries. They're pretty good. So guess what, y'all? I'm super excited. I had like a major milestone on Saturday. Um, wait. I want to eat that one. Here it is. Found it. <laughs> on Saturday. Wait. On uh, Sunday. That's when we drove to Arlington near Dallas. And, um, we drove up there that morning. So, one major milestone, and I want to thank everybody out there. I hit 500 subscribers. I did. I'm so excited about that. I was like, wow, amazing. I just dipped this in my ketchup. I'm so, oh, what am I thinking? It still tastes good. So, yeah, I was like, wow. That's just beyond amazing. Thank you, everyone, so much. So, that is a major accomplishment and milestone. And I want to thank all of you who subscribed to my channel. And I thank all of you who interact with me, which is awesome. The other major accomplishment is I told Sugar Plum Yum Yum about my channel. I tell him it's an eating channel. That I eat food on the camera. <laughs> he didn't judge me. He was all, okay. He asked me some questions about it. You know, like what my channel name was. I'm going to see a video. <laughs> I told him I'd share that with him one day. But, um, <laughs> I don't know if you know YouTube well enough or not. Like, if, if you do your own videos, you know. But, if someone comments on your thing and you get an email, in the email you have an option to hit reply. So, when you do hit reply, it opens up YouTube for you, but it starts to play your video instantly. And then you can scroll down, like, at the bottom to reply to comment so it starts to play and normally i mean that's kind of annoying to me 
if I'm replying to an, a comment on a YouTube channel and I click their reply button, I don't want to watch my movie or my video. I just want to reply to the comment. And it just opens the video where the comment is. So anyway, you know, in the past, I can do that. And usually like an ad or something plays in the beginning where I can hit pause. Well, <laughs> we were sitting in the hotel room and I clicked on one to reply. And, um, um, you know how my intros generally are sometimes have burps. Well, the one that I was replying to had burps. My volume was turned up. <laughs> so, of course, Sugar Plum Yum Yum, that was what he heard because it was loud and it was quite, kind of quiet in the room. And then, of course, it was like, hey, this is Pookie. So he's like, oh, so your name is Pookie. That's my childhood name, y'all. My parents gave me, they called me three different things growing up. Consistently, it was always spooky. But, at one point, um, sometimes they would call me Ground Monkey. Because I have a Ground Monkey. If you want to see that, I'll show that to you. So, say hi, Chloe. Um... Some people said they wanted, I mean, well, anyway, ground monkey is a monkey that I carry around. They call me ground monkey probably because of that. So that name stuck for a while. In fact, when I had one of my birthdays a couple years ago, my siblings threw me a big party and it was like on the way to the house, which I didn't realize it was a party. It was like a family um, game day, but it was around my birthday. And there was these signs like ground monkey parking ahead and, you know, all these ground monkey signs with the ground monkey pictures. It was cute. Anyway, I still have that ground monkey. I guess these are a little spicy. Excuse me, a little spicy, but not that much. Anyway, um, and then sugar bear. That one didn't stick as much. But anyway, yeah. So I was like, Pookie is my nickname. So now he knows that about me. Anyway, um. So. I'm sure if I'm, I'm asking some questions about. You know, did you tell your YouTube people this or that? But he was asking like recent developments that I hadn't done a video since. You know, during the weekend while we were together, so I hadn't, but he showed a little bit of interest in it. I told him that people are asking him to do video with me, so maybe one day in the future we will. But on behalf of Sugar Plum Yum Yum, I asked him before this video if he had anything he wanted me to say to the Sugar Plum Yum Yum fans, and he said yes. Tell them that I said never stop dreaming because sometimes dreams still come true. There you have it. Straight from Sugar Plum Yum Yum. And he did clarify. When he said dreaming, he meant like about me. So basically, if you're dreaming about that special someone, don't give up on your dreams because... Dreams do come true. That's sweet. So there you have it. Straight from Sugar Plum Yum Yum. You're not a secret anymore. Well, you're partly a secret. <laughs> but anyway, um, we went to Arlington. Um, got checked in the hotel. I um, met his best friend and girlfriend at the Hash House there, which is a really good restaurant really good I absolutely love the dark meat on the drumstick it's super tender mm -hmm. and after that we went to the stadium 
went in the game. It was Cowboys versus the Eagles. It was a freaking awesome game. I mentioned before he kind of stresses out during games, whether they're winning or losing. But this one, the um, Eagles got a lead quite quickly. And there wasn't a wide margin. So we were always just like a step behind. But towards the very end, we tied that puppy. And we went into overtime. And, um... I was just so happy. I could look at his face and see he was excited. But he didn't want to show it. He had that stressed look on his face. <laughs> He's so cute. Anyway, I gave him a couple of really big hugs. I told him we got this. Sure enough, we won the toss, the coin toss. And um, we made a touchdown. So... The boys came through and won the game. And I think he said that stadium holds like 90,000 people. Probably just in seats. There was a lot of people standing. There were a lot of people outside tailgating. So the roar of the audience after the win was phenomenal. I mean, here in Houston, it was kind of hard. You know, it seems like there's way more Texans fans than Cowboys. Obviously. So it's really awesome to be around that many fans, you know, share the same, the same love for the same team. But everybody was high-fiving, everybody was so pumped up, it was amazing, a wonderful experience. Afterwards, he had the biggest grin on his face, it was well worth all that stress just to see that. And thank you, Jesus, because... I'm afraid to be around him <laughs> when we don't win. Everybody's already told me. He gets quiet and stuff, but... Anyway, that day may come one day, but... The Cowboys only lost one game so far. Killing it. I'm gonna keep on winning. So, um, we came back home Sunday. I mean, Monday. Halloween. Happy Halloween, y'all. And, uh, when we got home, he left. He went to his buddy's house to rewatch the Cowboys game. And, um, I did nothing. I kind of fell asleep on the couch a little bit because I was dead tired for some reason. And then around 6 o'clock, I heard kids outside. I brought these big old bowls. One big bomb for Halloween candy. And I had um, been prepared. And I was like, well, when it comes time, I'm going to take my chair outside. And just sit in the driveway and hand out candy. So I did. And I heard the kids. I was like, what? No one was coming to my door, but I could see out the people. The kids in costumes were just walking down the sidewalks. And, um, this, um, was my first time being in this neighborhood. I've heard from so many people, Halloween is like, this neighborhood is like the Halloween spot. And no one's really decorated. There's like, I don't know, five or six houses out of 30 or so that's decorated. But I really don't, didn't understand what they meant, seeing that it didn't look that fabulous. But last night, I figured out what they meant. There were kids coming in droves. Like, I'm like, this candy I got, I had enough to fill two, two buckets, and that was not enough. I, at first, I was, like, handing out three or four pieces to each person. And when I looked to my right, there's like, a, you know, they weren't going door to door. They were going garage to garage, basically. People were kind of set up in their driveway. Some had tables. Some were just sitting, like, me in a chair. I looked over, and one, one house had literally, I swear, at least minimum 15 people standing right there in their driveway. And I was like... It's not good. My second bowl is near empty. And I can't run out when they come to me. So, anyway. I started eventually giving like two small pieces each. But I ran out fast. By 6.45 I was done. 
or seven. I think I ended up going out there at six fifteen. <laughs> it was just funny because this one lady came up with her kid, and then the mom was like, "Oh," and I was just looking at her, and she came up to me. She's like, "It's so sweet." She said, "Look at her. She's all by herself." So the little girl was worried because I was sitting there by myself. I kind of looked sad, I guess. <laughs> I'm like, I'm used to it. Ain't nothing but a thing. I got candy. That's all that matters, right? But it was sweet. She was worried about me. I was going to dress up in my Pikachu costume. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, this is good. This is Popeye's good stuff. But, um, I wore it poker night Friday night, and, uh, mm-mm, that was hot. It was like flannel or whatever, or felt kind of material, but on the inside, it felt like it was coated with some kind of a plastic. It, was, it did not breathe at all. Speaking of poker, um, Friday when I went, I, was, I actually wasn't doing that great, but then... I did really good with a hand, and the same guy I won a lot of money from went all in. What are you doing, silly? And, um, I had ace. It was pre-flop, so before any cards came out, based on the two cards we got, he's like, all in. And we're talking, like, a lot of money. I had, I was over, I had more than half the table did, but, um, I kind of want to get home and go see Sugar Plum Yum Yum, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, well... I can either go home now or double up, and I'm okay with either one. So, he said all in, and he had more chips than I do by, the, by just a little bit. And that is Queen of Hearts. So, that was not a bad hand to go all in with. And I just called him, and he had two, two jacks, which I wasn't concerned about. Because I was like, well, all I need is three hearts to get a flush. Or an ace queen. Or straight. Like, I had a lot of outs pre flop. But when the flop came, not, none of us hit any other card. So, his two jacks beat my ace queen. I was out. But that's okay. So, that was it. I hope y'all had a good Halloween. I've gotten some comments on where people are from. A lot, you know, there's a lot just local. California, Arizona, Alabama. I have one from Australia. Hey, girl. Um, so that's pretty cool to see where everybody's at. Obviously, there's some from Texas. I say obviously because it's a big state. But yeah, so that was my weekend. I hope y'all had a good weekend. I hope y'all had a good Halloween. And that is it. Probably can't see her. She's just taking a bath right here. So rude. Rude. Can you see her lay right here? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Excuse me. All right. So that's it. Thanks again to all of you who subscribe to my channel. It wouldn't be at 500 subscribers without you. I appreciate it very much. And I say that in past videos because I mean it. Excuse me. I absolutely enjoy the comments and the interaction. It's my favorite part, actually. So, um, anywho, that's it. If you're not subscribed already, please do so. If you think about it, we hit the like button. And for those of you who hit the dislike button, thank you. Thank you so much. I can't do a video without one. But I appreciate it because you know what? That means you looked at my video and you're supporting my channel. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, if there's anything you guys want to know, you got any questions, leave those in the comments. If you just have a comment, you want to say something, leave that. Um, I'm just going to continue talking about my life. If there's any specific topics you want to talk about, 
hit me up let me know and that's that everybody take care have a great day and i'll be seeing y'all later bye y'all